afternoon everybody. Can't bike it here. I'm sure that goods are getting longer. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody. Just riding down the 93.142857 recurring road. That one time where I saw nothing silly happen. that carrot indicated a little bit earlier would have been all right there um i was watching a video the other day by phil 480 and it was a response to a video that i'd seen quite a while back now uh by benny boy biker to be fair phil 480's video is probably quite a few weeks old because it takes me a while to catch up i'm pretty slow And uh, they were talking about conspiracy theories. Um, so your classic 9-11 was a government job, so they could attack Afghanistan. Uh, the moon landings were faked. Um, Paul McCartney apparently isn't Paul McCartney. That was a new one on me, actually. Uh, Roswell. Uh, Area 51, all that kind of stuff. My favourites I haven't mentioned was um, I like the one about Titanic being actually being its own sister ship and it was a insurance job and the um, Philadelphia experiment where the American government developed the ability to transport an entire ship between dimensions but it all went wrong when all the people came back and they were trapped between dimensions, kind of like ghosts or invisible. Um, now, if you want to believe these things, fine. Um, if you don't want to believe these things, fine. But my little response to them is just to say, why? All of them, I mean, there are some, consp you know, there, there have been conspiracies in the past. There are probably some active conspiracies now. Maybe 9-11 was a government job, who knows? But nobody ever seems to answer at least not to my satisfaction the question why why fake going to the moon why blow up your own buildings um, you know if you if the American government had wanted to attack Afghanistan and Iraq and wanted to come up with a reason to do it there already were lots of reasons uh, in fact they didn't use that reason to attack Iraq you know they used the argument of uh, weapons of mass destruction they didn't use the argument to attack Afghanistan. They just talked about terror. Well, they could have got that from just terror training camps and all of the other terrorist attacks that had gone on. The fact that, you know, these same terrorists were attacking NATO partners and European countries and what have you, uh, as well as America. So they could have done it. If they wanted an excuse, I think they could have come up with an excuse without demolishing their own business uh, businesses, their own buildings, and actually massive businesses as well doing serious harm to the economy um, I mean the talk about World Trade Centre Building 7 where the idea of that one is that there were people, uh, people there were documents that um, the CIA wanted to destroy well never had a shredders you don't need to blow up a building that's got those documents in you could just shred them set fire to the bits the Titanic one that it was actually its sister ship and it was an insurance scam. That one's a good answer why, so maybe that one deserves further investigation. Um, although then you've got to get into the question of why would you believe the rather convoluted stories of the conspiracy theorists over the official story? And in the case of the Titanic, well crashing into an iceberg because you're not paying attention seems like a simpler answer than let's make one ship look like another and then go and sink that one I mean it's, it's all a bit complicated isn't it it's like the conspiracy theory at the minute about these two Malaysian aircraft and uh, I can't remember the numbers of the flights but we had the first one that went missing and 
Yes, it's definitely gone missing. That's true. There's lots of evidence for that. But then they decided that, the conspiracy theorists decided that it crashing was too easy an answer. And that actually it must have been taken over by the American government because they wanted to get the secrets of a couple of scientists who were on the plane. So they took that plane, flew it to a hidden base on a floating island in the ocean, landed it there, killed all the people just to get the two scientists that had the information, um, which apparently was, they owned some patents. Well, if you understand how patents work, conspiracy theorists, that information's entirely public if it's a patent. That's irrelevant. But anyway, all that, just so they could get some information off a couple of scientists. And then apparently the second aeroplane, the one that was shot down, the simple explanation that it was shot down is too simple. And actually that one was shot down on purpose, but not shot down by Russian-backed militants or whatever it's supposed to be, but it was actually shot down again by the Americans. And this time, it, it wasn't really the second flight, it was the original aeroplane that they'd stolen. Good cut on the corner there. The original aeroplane that they'd stolen was the one that shot down because they have to blow it up to hide the evidence. And clearly the best way of hiding evidence is to blow it up and scatter it over miles and miles of country uh, round the other side of the planet from where you're doing it. And then of course we're left with the problem of we're going to have to blow up yet another Malaysian aircraft because now we've got the other one that wasn't really shot down, gone to the conspiracy theorists, that's actually hidden away somewhere but presumably you're going to have to get rid of that one as well, otherwise why not just hide the first one in that place this doesn't make any sense does it, it's Occam's razor it's look for the simplest explanation that fits all the facts which is about the scientific method really and the simplest explanation might not be right, but what's the point in adding complexity until you know that it's wrong? You know, this is how science works. You come up with a proposition, not a theory. Theory is a very misused word, but you come up with a proposition or a, you know, an idea about how something might work or why something the way it is the way it is. And then you come up with a series of experiments to prove or a set of evidence to prove that that is the case and to attempt to disprove it and only when you can uh, say beyond reasonable doubt that you can't disprove it and all the evidence supports your proposition does that become a theory and in scientific parlance a theory is something that essentially is accepted to be true it's a slight drawback to the word theory, it's like the theory of evolution which is essentially, or evolution by natural selection, is essentially fact but because science uses the word theory and theory has another meaning it gives people an easy way to attack it and say well it's just a theory in the same way that gravity is just a theory. One day we might prove that wrong and then we'll all fall off. Anyway. So, conspiracy theories are great, and there's a, I think there's a fine line between the conspiracy theorist and the investigative journalist. I think we've just all got to be a little bit careful in believing things that are dreamt up by, in what a lot of cases are, crackpots. Not always. I don't want to offend you if you uh, believe conspiracy theories. As I say, some of them are right. But always ask yourself, is there a simpler explanation? Is there a logical reason why you would want to do this? Or is it just bunkum made up by people who've got either too much time on their hands or, in a lot of cases, a book to sell? Anyway, I'm sure I've upset a few people. <laughs> I apologise. Um, But I, I can only say what I think, and I think Phil's video was worthy of a response. And so was Benny Boy Bikers. 
Um, but Phil started the responding, so I thought I'll respond to a response to a response. And I'll be interested in your responses as it is. Now, as Phil said, um, he didn't say it about me, but as Phil, Phil hinted at in a similar way, clearly this is all rubbish and I'm just part of the theory. So I've been placed here by the government uh, to try and convince you that conspiracy theories are all just made up when actually they're true. So all I can say is, check for those pieces of metal that the aliens have put in your nose and once you're sure they're not there you know you can speak freely and tell me how wrong I am <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone ride safe and I'll talk to you all again soon <laughs>